What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of the O'Shea Podcast. And I am with <coughs> Jonita. Round of applause. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. You know, the rich auntie of Kenganda is here to bless you with her presence. <laughs> oh, you're going to hate me even more, but let's move. So, Jonita, yeah. so one of the things I've noticed by talking to you yeah, um, is that you're heavily entitled. Um, you believe the world owes you everything, although you don't deserve anything. Um, and I, I've been... Let's, let's, I, 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 I feel that. Yeah. I'm just, just let me be finished. Finish, finish, finish. Yeah. Let me finish. I'm being nice. I'm being nice. It could get worse. Your, your your standards of what you're looking for in guys are way up here. You expect everything. And like most women, give absolutely nothing. Why is that? Well, have you dated me before to know like most women and give nothing? Well, I mean, you work anyway, for me, so. Let's water down whatever you said. <laughs> Ew. Let's sit down whatever I say. First off, um, I'm not heavily entitled. I understand. Listen, if there's Lies. one thing with me, Lies. I understand I understand people and I understand when not to overstep and not to over ask for things. I don't even ask. You will give me shit on your own. Okay? Then another thing that mm. this gentleman are you even a gentleman? This man right next to me is trying to say you know, I didn't even get comfortable. The na- <laughs> Another thing that you're trying to say is yeah. that my, my standards are so high and I don't deserve it. Let me tell you something. In this life, uh-huh. this one life that you have, you don't know what's going to happen once you die. If you do not think the best of yourself, then, baby, your, your self-esteem is quite, Like, think the best for yourself. When I stand here as Janita, I have mm-hmm. to think the best for myself because if I don't see the best in myself, no one else is going to see that in me. You get? So excuse me mm-hmm. for thinking I deserve all the good things in life. Okay? Because I also believe in the power of manifestation. You get? Mm-hmm. I can't be there saying, oh no, I deserve someone who's like this. You know, like go down and down and down and like, I don't, I don't deserve anything. No! I deserve all the good things in life. If they happen to me, well and good. If they don't, still, I'll be content. Don't do the way you're trying to paint it. You deserve every as you. Well, Joe, like... Why are you having the money on the table? Well, because, see, number one, the reason why, speaking of manifestations, I work very hard. Eh, we all, we all know faith without... I work very, 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 Without very, belief very, is nothing. Very, 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 very hard, huh? So I have shilling in my hand. Ah, uh-uh. In my crazy voice. But see, you know what? That's the problem here. Especially with black women. I'm sorry. Black women, African women, dating standards are out of the roof. Okay? For example, I would like to play in the NFL or in the NBA at age 39. But uh, you yeah, know what? I'm missing quite a bit of height and athleticism. So it's just not, re- it's just not feasible. It's not. I better be like podcasting or something with, oh. with Jonita at like two in the morning and you got any time, right? Let me finish. Let me finish. But not women. Especially, I've noticed this. I thought that the, the, the standards were high in America. For some women, they expect everything for doing nothing. They should get the best looking guy, the tallest guy, the smartest guy, the wealthy guy. And what are they bringing to the table? Dating music! Actually, sorry, sorry about that. Jeopardy music! <laughs> Let it play out. <laughs> Don't go off. Nothing! Uh. Nothing! Zero! They bring shit to the table! But expect that a guy should give them everything all throughout here, black America, and it sucks. I don't understand. Where do these standards come? Why do you deserve something for nothing? And then when you tell them that the guy that you should be dating is the boater driver, is the guy working at McDonald's, is the guy working at Taco Bell, the guy who can't read or write, that's who you should be with, they get mad. Why is that? 
Oshe, why are you so bitter and loud? Who hurt you? Let's talk about that. Who was that girl with high standards that turned you down and all of a sudden you want to crucify anyone you find on your way? Who? Well, actually. Sam music! <laughs> there was a day in Uganda where <laughs> Jonita walked into my office <laughs> and she demanded to get paid $20,000 a day for doing nothing <laughs> ah ah okay enough with a pity party suck it up life is tough you know the first anyway <laughs> oh, <hell no>. oh. <laughs> uh, i was trying to say you you know you kind of have a point because there's some girls out there who have really really high standards you? and this is not about me the show does not say let's crucify Juanita and dissect her life that show is osha's podcast okay i'm a co-host on that show and you're about to get fired anyway so I, I there's some girls out there who really have high standards and you you see someone it's like you have to work on yourself to mm-hmm. be like be, uh, to be worthy of the high standards that you put out. you get you can't be that saying oh i need a wealthy man and 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 your bank account is not aligning with uh that wish mm-hmm but there are some girls who get lucky and they have nothing and they get out of the man you know like there's no straight line in life i get your point i get where you're coming from and mm-hmm. sometimes it's bad but let's also talk about um men who have high standards like you are five two but you want <laughs> a supermodel <laughs> you have ashy elbows oh are you talking about kim because kim is about five foot two. <laughs> you have ashy elbows and you need like someone with um milk like skin come on so are you saying that guys standards are unrealistic yeah sometimes you know if you're going to blame everything on women women this women that uh-huh. let, let, let's take a look at the men like okay look within yourself look let's look at them why do men also have high standards let's look at that are they broke expecting models yeah they are big, 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 big booties yeah and you got to do broke guys expect very 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 big all oh, those expect the most the broke ones. Yeah, because it's like a self-esteem issue. Anyway, <laughs> why do they expect the most? Uh, they just have that one issue. You have an you have an example of that? No. I you want to talk about it right now? No, I won't. Let's do. Put let's it on OnlyFans. Stick, stop, Patreon. <laughs> let's stick to the topic, and that was standards. Like, I get it, but then you also have to understand, like, all your life you have. It's like survivor for the fittest you have to groom yourself to want the best for yourself uh-huh. because if you don't want the best for yourself you're going to end up with a bare mean mom uh, come on no so it's okay like sometimes have standards but like let them not be so high but let them not be so low like have realistic standards That's what what are realistic dating standards for you Oh, should I say this is not dissecting no I mean I mean no no no, no 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 we're gonna be nice right now I'm sorry I, you know what I want to say this I'm very, very sorry for being mean to you on the podcast. I'm, I want it from the bottom of my heart. I like apologies in cash. Thank you. Sorry, I don't, I don't have any of that right now. Well, then the apology not accepted. I'm You'll a, be all right. I'm a cheap man. Huh? You'll be fine. But let me just say, for your standards, what do you expect for so for 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 the guy out there as an example? Yeah. So what do you expect your man to have? I actually have it written down. Because we're not playing. We're not single for two years just to go back. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, I have a list, but I don't think I should put my business out there. So whoever wants to know about my list, it's actually No, please share. No, let me look. I let me look for it so you don't think I'm lying. Wow. 1300 things. No, this is a this is a budget mm. for King and Oshay. Million dollar. Oh, quality to look for in a man. But right here. Oh, that, that. Can I read them? No. You're not going to be. Like, 45 <laughs> qualities. No, they're not 45. They're just 10. Stop. Then I also put the 10 qualities that I have that would also benefit a man. You get? Like, it's 50 50. Not paying bills, but it's 50 50. How, <laughs> how many of those qualities re- uh, revolve around providing money? Mm, it's just one. 
just one quality revolves around money. So no, so none of those guys you've been dating actively dating. Actively dating. How many of those guys have reached any of those qualities? I uh, depends around like three or five, two. So so how many do they need to have for you to take them serious? All of them. Tick tick. Ten. Yeah. All ten. Yeah. But they're not unrealistic. I'm not saying go go be out there and have a jet and pick me up with like a helicopter. Build a, build a TV out of oatmeal. No, from you scratch. Get, like my my qual the qualities I look for are realistic and those are things I can't compromise on because I did compromise on them in the past and look where that has got me. You get. So let me ask you this. Yeah. If the guy is very very good looking. Looks are nothing. I don't. I does that? Do, does that? Men are just not that. I just no, like. I mean, if the guy is very very good looking. Mm. Does that take away from some of the qualities? Do you like make exceptions? No. Because guys make exceptions if a girl's very, very good looking. No, I don't like cute guys. I don't like good looking guys. Oh, so all the guys that are watching this right now will know they're ugly. Just have a medium of ugly. Uh, have a <laughs> medium of what? <laughs> ugly. Ugly and what? In you, like just. So what? So what? So what? So what is it? Uh, are you threatened by guys who are good looking? I'm not threatened, but like. So like, where are we competing to see who's cute? Are we going to compete for the mirror in the morning? Like, oh, let me see how I look. Then it's also like, oh, let me just see what I look like. So good looking guys, you're you're threatened. I'm not threatened. I just like, there's no appeal. Like you're just cute. You're just a pretty face. Like okay. So you're scared. I'm not scared. It's just not my type. Osha, you have a type. Osha, tell tell the people your standards. My standards in women. Yeah. Well, what qualities do you look for? Um, or what are your standards? Number two, one, shutting up. Two, shutting up. Three, laughing at every one of my jokes. Four, doing what I tell you. Um, five, one, two, three, four. Repeat. And you wonder why you're alone at this point in your life. No, 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 no. There are plenty of women, many of who are subscribers. Stop the show. Stop. Shout out to all the female. I am actually um, in the YouTube marriage with SW1. Oh, she, but she's so lovely. She's so supportive. Well, of course. You know why? Because she doesn't talk that much. She's pretty. She doesn't talk that much. Maybe you should be like her. <laughs> Listen. Shout out to SW1, baby. <laughs> why, why, like, why do you talk so much? Oshay, did you come? Questions that need to answer. Germany did, music! <laughs> did you put me on this show to come and hold your hands? Did you? Yeah. Did I come here to just look pretty and be a pretty face and move? Who called did you pretty? I? Who called you pretty? Yeah. You. Uh, you know the sound doesn't stop. Listen, uh -huh. I did not come here to hold your hand. I did not come here to just be a face and sit and then look at you. I'm not that type. I'm you brought me here to talk. I'm going to talk. Okay. You do all the talking. Yeah. Because you did not bring me here. Like, did you call me here to hold your hand? I mentioned before, life is tough. Suck it up. Eck. Did you call did you call me here to just sit here and look? So like already they already listen to you like the channel is yours you talk all the time Moshe. let them listen to someone like me what's the benefit of listening to you uh what's exactly the benefit? Ah, i was what? getting that. Germany music the benefit of listening to me is that you learn something you learn one or two you will not talk to me and leave without learning something that's the beauty of talking to journey Do you believe that shit? Listen, I am my biggest promoter. I will believe that I am the best until I die. Amen. But I hope I don't die very soon. God, I cancel that out in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> I break the chains of death. Guys, we're going to go ahead and end it there. Yeah. Johnny is very, very, very sleepy. Yeah, my eyes can tell. Because we're shooting this late in the night. You guys don't even see what, what we go through. We shoot this late in the night. Late in the night. Well, yeah, that's what happens when you have to work in it as a man, you know, uh, like myself. You know, not actually demanding high standards, but actually putting in the work to you keep know, those. You know, at, at the end of that, like before we... While women are before, mostly usually doing nothing. Before but, we finish this off, you can cry all you want. Mm -hmm. But like, this is the love of the jungle. You get Mm -hmm. women will have their standards and then men just have to pursue them you've never yeah. seen a cat chase a dog have you so sit down and relax enjoy life you all are so 
bitan. Like you, you'll jump on anything and be pressed about anything. Who's oh. bitter? <sighs> it's draining. I'm not bitter. No. John has been real. Guys, it's your boy, O'Shea Dude Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of the O'Shea Podcast. Don't go ahead and tell them where you are, who you, they can, you should give somebody your phone number so they can call you. So they can uh, follow me, Janita Maya. Mm-hmm. This is um, on Instagram, Janita Maya on Twitter, and that's it. That's the only way you can find me. Unless you're asking for my world remit or Western Union details, then we'll talk. Until then, thank you. Check out the Negro Manosphere Awards post, guys. Check out the Black Men of Perfect t shirts. Check out all of that. I really appreciate you guys for what you do. It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson. Peace.